before every destination comes the long road. That is the key element in all my travels. There is a kind of magic when I get in the car and drive off. The world becomes different. This is the time to relax and enjoy beautiful landscapes and amazing skies. That is the moment when I realize it's not about the destination. It is about being free and making a memory. This time, I'm heading to one of the most beautiful villages in Peloponnese. Dimitsana is a stone-built, picturesque mountain village in Arcadia, Peloponnese, Greece. It is built at an altitude of 1,000 meters on the west slopes of Mount Manalan, almost in the center of Peloponnese and over the Lugios River. The village and the surrounding area boast of the rare beauty of the natural environment, along with many sites and attractions. You definitely need to check out the Open Air Water Power Museum, which highlights the importance of water power in traditional society. Focusing on the main pre-industrial techniques that take advantage of water to produce a variety of goods, it links them to the history and daily life of the local society over the ages. You can find more information about the museum as well as other attractions in the broader area by checking the description of this video. Every part of Greece is a piece of history. The soil is soaked with the blood of those once fought for the freedom of this country. Dimitsana played a significant role in the country's struggle for self-determination. Its Greek school, founded in 1764, was an important spawning ground for the ideas leading to the uprising against the Turks. Dimitsana's best-known native son is none other than the ecumenical patriarch of Constantinople, Gregorios V, who served as Archbishop of Constantinople at the beginning of the revolution. Blamed by the Turks for not effectively suppressing the uprising, the patriarch was arrested and hanged. Gregory is revered as an ethnomartyr of Greece. His house had been restored and made into an ecclesiastical museum, displaying pieces from surrounding monasteries and the churches of Dimitsana, with most of the items from the 18th and 19th centuries. Concludes 
the end of my visit to beautiful Dimitsama. A place of unparalleled natural beauty and a place where once heroes walked. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please, give it a thumbs up and share. I'm John, and I'll see you on the next one.